Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? And I just got back home from watching Doctor Strange. And well, it wasn't really that strange. It was kind of entertaining in the end and a lot of good jokes, although the plot was kind of standard. So all in all, in the end, I still enjoyed it. And yep, another good movie from Marvel. So yep, keep on the good work. So alright, just when I watched the movie, uh, some people already passed pass me a lot of their mobile phones and Look at this! Look at this! Look at this bro! So okay, Chiara and the new Halloween unit, what was his name again? Okay, Chiara and Galtier. The info on the confirmation of their abilities of their Omni Evolution is already out, so let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at Chiara first. For most of the part on the leader skill here, I think most of them are remained unchanged. Well actually now it's a global boost to attack and max HP for everyone in the squad. Unlike before it was only a boost to attack and I think it was only attack for certain type of elements. But now it's global so it's a good change from the 7 stars elemental. I mean evolution. However, the rest of it remains unchanged, so still attack boost, what 150% now? Relative to remaining HP, hugely boost BB attack by 250%, not bad, and elemental damage by 125%. Okay, this could be useful in some places, especially if you can't do crit damage, such as raid. This is going to help you guys more on the damage. Extra skill now. Alright, HP drain, uh, nothing to worry about. Not fully impressed on the first one. Defense ignore to BB and SBB for 3 turns, okay just like before but I think this time they add one more turn on it. Boost attack and defense when BB gauge is full, uh, the boost is only 50% but I think it's kinda fine this way. Brave burst, alright 20 hits AOE, fire and dark not bad. At 370%, not that huge. Boosting her own attack and spark damage. Uh, the attack is at 200% and the spark is at 50%. For 3 turns. And greatly boosts elemental damage by 75% for 3 turns. I wonder why a lot of global units have uh, their own buffs like this. I mean uh, selfish ones. But okay, I think it's still good. Especially if you bring other buffers in the squad and... The elemental boost damage here, I think it's going to be useful in the end. What about the super brave burst? Alright, let's take a look at it. 24 hits AOE, fire and dark attack again at 580% BB modifier. Standard ones, I really was kinda hoping for more hits on this one. Still kinda similar to the 7 stars, this one has a attack buff for 170% and BB attack at wow 400% for 3 turns okay this one this last part is I think the highest base BB attack buff in the game currently uh, we do have 400, 450% but you gotta take the enhancement for it uh, on the base BB attack it should be around 350 for now that's the highest and adds 4 elemental to attacks for 3 turns. Just fire, water, earth, thunder, just like her 7 stars form. So okay, kinda not bad on the super brave burst. Let's take a look at the ultimate brave burst. Okay, 31 combo fire and dark attack on all foes at 1500% BB modifier. Okay, standard. Enormously boost attack defense by 300. Okay, standard. BB attack by 600%, uh, pretty standard as well. Elemental damage by 300% and critical damage by 300% for 3 turns. I gotta say the ultimate brave burst is just meh. So alright, the whole kit uh, before the enhancements. Uh, the only thing that we can take note of is the BB attack buff and also the attack buff. Without the enhancements, it's going to be the highest for now. And let's take a look at the enhancements. I am seeing something wrong in here since the enhancements doesn't have any max HP or um, defense boost. So I don't really like this one. 
but if you take the first two here uh, she will have a potential of having 150% boost to attack plus another 50 so that's 200% and if you use her as lead that's gonna be off the roof but okay I normally don't really like attack buffs like this because uh, you can feel the effect mostly on normal hits not on BBSBB it does have an effect but it's really slight Boost the spark damage and critical hit damage, okay. Another boost to BB attack for herself at 50%, okay. Negates critical hit damage, okay this one's pretty good but I think it's not really that needed if you have Lara or Gabriela. If this one, if this enhancement is actually a buff then it's gonna be really good but I think this one is only for herself. And as I suspected before, this one also has an enhancement for light and dark elements to the SBB. So, alright, this girl is actually a contender to Quaid. Six elementals. And again with the uh, attack reduction to BB and SBB. This one, the 30 SP is only for herself. So, okay, not really that useful, but it's still good in a way. And another 20 skill points for the buff on your squad for the same effect for attack reduction. But no defense, just attack reduction. So okay, the, the these two are not really that good I think. So I'm not gonna take these uh, attack reduction buff and for herself. I think we got better units for that. The last one here could be kinda useful since it will add an effect for attack boost to her as to her BB I mean at the same rate with the SBB at 170% and it only costs you 10 skill points so okay besides the BB attack buff and the 6 elemental buff and maybe ignore defense I think um kinda I do not expect her or this is not what I hope her to be and the enhancements here, she does not have the BB attack uh, additional buff, so it's going to be staying at 400%, which is not the highest in game, so yeah, this got my hopes down actually. And in the end, I think Quaid will be still much better than her. He gives you a lot of useful buffs from the enhancements. Okay, now let's take a look at the Halloween unit. Alright, leader skill. 40% boost to everything. Okay, this is good. Boost attack and defense by 50% when BB gauge is over 50%. Not a big fan. Probable damage reduction to 1. Okay, this has a chance on proccing for 15%. Kinda good for Colosseum or Arenas. And probable resistance against 1KO attack at 20% chance. So okay, the leader skill will be good for mostly arenas and colosseum. But for trials, this kind of thing is not reliable. Alright, brave first. 18 hits AOE, dark attack. Alright, um, I'm not really sure how this works. Uh, it has a BB modifier of 400%. And then another bracket saying, uh, or 5% damage of Phosis uh, max HP. So it's either 400% or 5% of the HP. I'm not really sure how this works. I was kind of hoping that 400% plus 5% of the Phosis max HP. That's going to deal a lot of damage. And this unit's going to be really, really good if it is the right one. So... If it's either 400% or 5% damage to the foe's HP, well maybe he will still be okay for um, trials where the bosses are raid. Those bosses there are gonna have a lot of HP so 5% um, max HP is gonna be really really huge. But if the system's gonna read like uh, if it's a trial or a uh, raid. We're just gonna take the 400% or the one with the least damage. Okay, deal that one. If that's what's gonna happen, then it's gonna be suck. Greatly boost BB gauge. Okay, I always welcome this kind of effect, so it's kinda okay, kinda good. 
greatly boost defense relative to attack at 70%. Okay, not bad. Defense. I really like defense buff, so I also welcome this one. And again, with the selfish buff, uh, considerably boost own attack defense recovery for 3 turns at 150%. Why not make it 200% if it's only for him? And slight probable resistance against 1 KO attack. I'm not really sure if this one's gonna be a buff for the squad or just for him. Because it doesn't say anything. If it's a buff like Phoenix or Juno Seto or uh, some other units, then it's okay. But 10% is not really something to rely upon. And I forgot to take a look at the extra skill. So let's take a look at the extra skill now. Probable damage reduction to 1 at 10%. So this one with the leader skill for himself, it's going to be 25%, which is very good. Very, very good. And hugely boost BB gauge each turn for himself at 6 BC. That is huge. So extra skill, I'm going to say this. His extra skill is really good. And now super brave burst. Uh, 20 hits dark AOE for 600%. BB modifier or again 5% damage of Fosis max HP. Well, I'm gonna try this one when I got the unit and hugely boost BB gauge for 10 BC this time. Okay, nice. I like this one. Greatly boost attack relative to defense. So kind of works like Gazia. So the BB will boost the defense based on attack. Uh, SBB is gonna boost attack based on defense. This is kind of good. And instant OD fill. Nice. This one is actually nice. This one will fill 10% of your OD gauge. And that is really high. The other one that has 10% OD gauge fill is uh, Benimaru. So this one's a really good unit for trials. Especially for Noel's challenge and Karna Masta and recalling bondage. You're gonna need that 10%. That's huge. And again with a dark barrier for 3000 HP. So okay, I think the BB and SBB is kind of good if I take a look at them as a whole. But you're gonna use BB and SBB alternatively. That's the only issue. So this one's not really that uh, auto battle friendly. What about ultimate brave burst? Let's take a look at that now. 27 hits AOE dark attack. At 2000% BB mod, that's pretty high. So all of the BB, SBB, and UBB, they all have a huge BB attack modifier. Pretty good. And now this time with additional 5% damage of Fosis max HP. So in the end, I think only the one that will deal a huge damage is the UBB since it's going to be 2000% plus 5% of the Fosis max HP. But still, I will have to test this unit out on the BB and SBB later if I got him. If I got him. Hopefully not that many pulls. He also have a raising allies from KO status at 70% chance. Uh, the same thing like uh, Juno Seto. Kind of tricky to use. Boosting attack by 250% relative to, okay, relative to defense for 3 turns. Okay, this one's kind of good. So, BB, SBB, and then UBB. Well, that's a lot of attack and defense. Enormous damage reduction for 100% for 2 turns. Alright, this one's nice. And a dark barrier for 25k HP. So, alright, uh, the first time that I read this abilities uh, back at the cinema, I thought it was meh, but if I take a look at it again right now, I think it's pretty good. I think, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Now enhancements, of course. Alright, he has max HP, attack and defense boost, so this is good. No recovery, but who needs recovery? Negates elemental damage. Alright, so this unit's kind of good for uh, arenas and Colosseum, and especially if you bring this guy to uh, those hard contents that has a lot of light elements just like recalling bondage this is gonna be good enhances the leader skill by 10% so the all parameters will be 50% this is good 10% reduction 
damage from light and dark types. I'm not really sure if this is a buff. I think this is only for himself. Well, maybe if it's like Toki, which is 50%, then it's gonna be really good. But 10%, um, we can use Sect or we can use Elanon for that. Attack boost on BB. Attack boost again on SBB. Defense boost on BB and SBB. Okay, why do they have to separate all these? I think I get it. I think I get it. Well, you don't really need the attack buff on BB and SBB. Just pick one and you'll be fine. Trust me, especially if you alternate between both BB and SBB. And then considerably boost OD gauge fill rate at 20%. Uh, not gonna take this one. I'd really rather have that 10% BB instant fill on the SBB. That's gonna be much more useful than the fill rate here. 20%, you're not gonna feel that. And the last two enhances BB huge defense buff relative to attack by 10%. Uh, not, not gonna take this one. This is useless. 10%! You're not gonna feel any different. And the last one, it will boost the SBB's attack boost relative to defense effect by another 10%. So not really that useful as well. But some of them are really good, especially the leader skill boost and all the three first ones so that's what i'm gonna take if i have this unit but so far only from the bb sbb and ubb this unit's kind of good he's gonna be really really useful for a lot of things and secondly he is a dark unit so he is going to be convenient to use since dark elements are really neutral to a lot of elements and this one has a enhancement that will also negate elemental damage to this guy so this guy is really universal so okay it's kind of good but not really as op as i think it's gonna be but still this unit is good so that's all for the quick peek on this two units uh chiara and galtier meanwhile i am still waiting for the server to come back up but probably i'm not gonna wait anymore i'm really sleepy right now i'm really tired and i have to wake up early tomorrow to do those summons so i really hope you enjoyed this video guys uh if you do enjoyed it press that like button and if you want your friends your family or anyone to know about what these two units have on their only evolution form just go ahead and share it and if you're new or you have not subscribed to my channel, you can take this time to consider subscribing to my channel by pressing that fun button over there and join the fun train. For now, I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So see ya later. Bye bye. Cheers.